alright guys thank you for stopping by so I'm gonna be replacing the hard drive on this Aspire 5349 of course uh, you guys can check out computerthings.com for more information uh, but for the most part we're gonna go ahead and replace this uh, hard drive on this Acer um, and it comes pretty much standard with Windows 7 uh, operating system and also uh, Intel uh, processor inside here alright so before we begin here the first thing that you guys want to do is disconnect the battery and also uh, the AC adapter if you have that um, hooked up so once you go ahead and disconnect that then we could go ahead and begin but that's the latch on the back of the laptop here whenever you see that red that means that's, uh it's unlocked so you could go ahead and just remove the battery uh, very easily. Um, pretty much this is what the back of the laptop looks like. Uh, this is straight from the manufacturer so as you guys can see it has a lot of screws in the back. Now it has pretty much maybe over 20 screws. I didn't really count uh, during this video but I lost count but it has a lot of screws so you will need to keep track of those best thing is to probably take a picture so that way you know where the screws line up and where all the screws go where the hard drive screw is and um, you know where the uh, the screws on the sides are um, but they're pretty much all the same now this section here that I'm showing you that's where the hard drive is it's like a little square section on the back of the laptop so I'll start taking my screws out from that location now as I mentioned before the laptop has a lot of screws on the back portion so you will need to just keep a basic diagram or you know a picture just to you know uh, keep in mind where those screws uh, go because you don't want to lose the screws that's the most important thing so pretty much I'm just going through the back here just uh, getting all these screws removed and the hard drive is located next to the DVD drive um, so I think uh, you know just be careful not to apply too much pressure in that section alright so and I'm also using just a miniature um, screwdriver or precision screwdriver uh, made directly um, you know for this type of uh, electronics repair you guys could also purchase just the screwdriver set off the website computerthings.com uh, feel free to purchase a set off there alright so the set also the tip of the set here of the screwdriver is magnetic so it kinda helps out a little bit uh, sometimes it's really difficult to kinda get them connected but that helps out a little bit having a magnetic uh, tip to the screwdriver sure that uh, I don't lose my screws here all right so here we have it I'm still pretty much working on the screws at this point so as I mentioned earlier you will need to just keep uh, track of the screws and um, you know the location of the screws alright so I'm gonna go ahead and just fast forward the video just a little bit here just to uh, you know uh, spare some time and catch up but as long as you're keeping track of the screws then you should be good up to this point um, and then what we're gonna do after this pretty much is just remove the plastic bezel uh, at the bottom here so uh, we're gonna just fast forward a little bit so just uh, stay tuned alright so at this point we've uh, pretty much removed all the screws and I'm now just um, taking my time going around the uh, bezel itself the plastic housing um, here at the bottom it's very um, easy to break this type of plastic so you wanna 
you know handle it with a lot of care just go around it very gently gingerly um, not aggressive <laughs> but in any case uh, just be really gentle and um, you know just kinda wiggle it around until you um, you know kinda get it off as long as all the screws are off it should be you know easy for you to, to kinda take it off but you definitely don't want to force anything so here I am um, just kinda turn it around to get a, a better grip of it I think I got one side off so um, right now I'm just trying to get the VGA and the HDMI section off as well as the network portion um, so I think this side is a little bit tricky here but nevertheless uh, I just kind of be real easy with that plastic just kind of force your fingers or, you know around the uh, little space areas that you can and while I'm forcing my fingers around the space there I'm kind of uh, pushing it up um, just to you know get a little bit of level on it but with persistence pays off and uh, there you have it the plastic is off and that's the CPU fan it's a little bit dusty but um, but yeah that's the uh, that's the system there and let me just um, turn this around so you guys can actually see the hard drive the hard drive itself is that uh, little blue drive or blue section right there at the bottom um, if you guys can see that uh, it's just that little blue area right there that's the hard drive so um, to, to get the hard drive out you pretty much just have to take that little clip out of the little plastic connector there and uh, you just want to make sure that you don't really touch that uh, that plastic piece there but once you get that out then you should be able just to um, hold it back and in order to, to actually get the hard drive out uh, there should be two little screws that is actually holding the hose in together so um, these are the pretty much the two screws that's left to um, get rid of and once we get get those screws out of the way the hard drive should come right out so here we have one and then another one here alright and this little uh, piece here is a piece of the plastic uh, well it's a piece of the hosing that actually holds the hard drive in place so it doesn't move around when you're um, moving your hard drive there and um, so here we actually have the hard drive itself it's kind of wiggly out of the connector there and there you have it so that's the hard drive that came with the system the 230 gig Attache hard drive Please stay tuned and watch part two to see me install a new hard drive into this system. Alright, thanks for watching and please subscribe.